Hello and welcome back to Win Walkers. Today I have a fish cutlet. They're really good. They have tuna in them, potatoes, some spices. My mom makes them. They're so good. The homemade ones are always better. Actually, I don't think I've bought one at the store in a long, long time. But speaking of purchases, today we're going to take a look at the bike called How Can I Start an Emergency Fund? So had your kids, had your wife, and had your hug because they're coming. Black Friday, all the sales, uh, Boxing Day, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Makes you feel like you have spent a lot of money, and for what? The propaganda of giving? When did giving become just about the presents? These are questions for another day, but today we are going to focus on this bite specifically. I think it'd be pretty useful with everybody in the holidays. I don't know why I thought filming while eating this was a good idea. But you gotta eat them fresh. So. It says in this bite we'll discover how to start or rebuild an emergency fund if you are facing unexpected financial stress in the US. I think this pertains to North America as a whole. Well, fingers crossed that it translates well to our loonies and toonies here. But without further ado, let's get started. Introduction. In this bite, you'll discover how to start or rebuild an emergency fund if you're facing unexpected financial stress in the US. Mm -hmm. Reasons why you might want an emergency fund. You have a dog. You have two dogs. Maybe three. Just me. <laughs> it's important to have emergency funds. You never know when no. you're gonna hit the fan. And so, let's continue. Um, background info. What happens when your bank account is empty? Are you prepared to handle unexpected financial stress? Start an emergency fund and you won't have to wonder. This is true. Oh my god. I've done a disrespect. I didn't shout out to today's bite author. Margaret, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Margaret Prophet, this bite is yours and I'm reading it. We got John Travolta wondering where the money is. We have a did you know? Wow! Did you know about half of Americans burned through their savings by April 2020? Just weeks into the corona crisis? No! Ah, uh, remember when people were impulsively buying toilet paper? You think that's enough? And be beans. Fed. What a year. What is an emergency fund? Biggie. An emergency fund is a financial tool to handle uncertainty. It's also known as a rainy day fund. Whether you're rebuilding your fund after an emergency or starting one for the first time, these steps will guide you. Yeah. Then we have the meme. You can't go over budget if you never made a budget. No. No. <laughs> Your budget is your friend. Your budget is your club mom that keeps you in check. <laughs> the first step to saving is figuring what you spend. Once you know what you spend on essentials, set a savings goal to equal three to six months of expenses. Be proud of any amount you are able to set aside. Even two weeks worth of money is a great start. That's a good uh, angle to go about it. Just focusing on the essentials and then three months ahead hmm resist temptation stockpiling toilet paper and buying a playstation putting money towards your emergency fund i wish bidets were a thing like a more popular thing i mean i'm sure i can install one maybe i should install a bidet it's not an essential though but then toilet paper hmm are bidets essential um, resist the urge to panic buy or impulsive buy unnecessary items. Maybe you don't need a bidet. Cancel any reoccurring costs you're not going to use, like subscription services or gym membership. Sorry, Planet Fitness. But, um, yeah, it's just not going to work anymore. I know it was a good deal, $10 a month, but girl. I can just go for a run and work out at home. I really don't 
I don't need you. Make a deal on your debt. Student loans consolidate debt emergency fund. The federal response to COVID-19 has included some relief towards things like student loan debt. Yes, this is true in Canada too. Um, you can also reduce contributions to things like 401k to direct money towards your emergency fund. I don't know what a 401k is. Hmm. Choose where to save. I'll just put this money in my emergency fund so I won't spend it. Oh look, money. <laughs> oh dear. Oh Dory. Oh Dory. Next, decide where to put my uh, decide where to put your money. It should be easy to reach but separate from accounts you use to pay your bills. Makes sense. Um, pay yourself first. Optional purchases, emergency fund. <laughs> yeah, pay yourself. You're like the big ticket item in your life. That really good looking chocolate bar at the store, or Nanaimo bar, or oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. Wow! You are the cookie. Um, prioritize your emergency fund over optimal purchases. Make rules and stick to them. You car breaks down. Is this why I started an emergency fund? Yes. Make rules for yourself about when it's time to break the glass on your emergency fund. Losing a job, a medical emergency, or a disaster are good examples. Mm -hmm -hmm. Sometimes it takes going through one of these experiences to also realize that you, you should definitely start an emergency savings account, but if you could be proactive about it, that is always better. <laughs> Quiz time! Which of the following situations would not be good to use your emergency fund? Airfare needed for an unexpected funeral. You break a bone and need surgery. You need to replace your car tires. An AC unit breaks and you need replacing. Definitely... Wait, what? Probably AC? Oh. One eternity later. Oh, okay. This is something that you should already be doing and have a, a sense of when you should do it, say in winter and stuff. It's not necessarily an emergency. Oh. Summary. There is no telling what life will bring. Mm. Oh. Oh. An emergency fund can come to the rescue when you're facing unexpected expense. Which of these steps will be your first on your journey towards financial security? I love you. Oh, you're so cute. Out of all the tips we reviewed, I think the one that I found really useful was figuring out what your essential expenses are, trying to save towards a goal that would help you pay for it for three months. I think that's pretty doable for me personally, but hopefully you guys found some insight from this too. That's all for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about saving some cash money so when a rainy day comes, you won't be crying and suffering. Less toilet paper, more emergency funds, people. <laughs> yes. As always, if you like this episode, please like and subscribe. We put out new videos every week. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, weekend, morning, afternoon, night. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Thank you. Bye.